Hello, my name is Jimmy Garagorri, and we are here to show you how to configure a barimetric system with high availability. In this video, we will briefly describe the components and the operation modes for AMS and the way to configure an environment in a high available setup. A barimetrics is a system for collecting, aggregating, and serving metrics for various services in a barimetric managed cluster. AMS has four components. Metrics Monitors, Hadoop Syncs, Metrics Collector, and Grafana. Metrics Monitor on each host in the cluster collects system-level metrics and publish to the Metrics Collector. Hadoop Syncs are plugins for Hadoop components to publish Hadoop metrics into the Metrics Collector. The Metrics Collector is a daemon that runs on a specific host in the cluster and receives data from the registered publishers, the monitors, and the syncs. Grafana is a daemon that runs on a specific host in the cluster and serves pre-built dashboards for visualizing metrics collect in the metrics collector. In summary, the metrics collector is a daemon that receives data from registered publishers, the monitors, and syncs. Metric collector is built using Hadoop technologies such Apache Edgebase, Apache Phoenix, and Apache Traffic Server. By default, the collector runs in embedded mode and store metrics data on the local file system, on the host where the collector is running. Additionally, we can configure the collector to run in a distributed mode. When the collector is configured for distributed mode, it writes metrics to HDFS, and the components run in distributed processes, which helps to manage CPU and memory consumption. For this video, our cluster is configured for highly available Nanode, so we are going to set the HBase root directory value to use the HDFS name service instead of the Nanode host name. And we will migrate existing data from the local store to HDFS prior to switching to the distribute mode. To switch the metrics collector from embedded mode to distributed mode, we will update the metrics service operation mode and the location where the metrics are being stored. In summary, we will be executing the following steps. First, we need to stop the Ambari metric system. Then we need to prepare the environment to migrate from local file system to HDFS. Then we need to migrate the collector data to HDFS. We need to configure distributed mode using Rambari. And finally, we need to restart all effect and monitor and collector logs. Remember, since we are working with highly available name node, we will be using the HDFS name service instead of the name node host name. To start the configuration, we will need to stop all the service associated with the AMS component using Ambari. To do this, we need to go to the Ambari UI. In Ambari UI, you can see the service Ambari metrics. We can click on Ambari metrics and we need to stop the service. While we are waiting to stop the Ambari metrics, we need to go to the terminal session and prepare the environment to configure all the setup. Back to the terminal. To start configuring this setup, we are going to prepare the environment. To do this, we are going to use some variables like this, where we set the user and the group for the AMS service. Additionally, we are going to set an environment for the embedded mode. We are going to use the information for the active name node. We are going to use the name node port. We are going to use the HDFS name service. And finally, we need to use the path where we are going to store the metrics in HDFS. Now we have all the variables configured. so. Basically, we need to create the information in HDFS. So we are going to create the path in HDFS using this command. Now we need to set the permissions for that path for the user AMS. 
and the group Hadoop. Now we need to validate the permissions in the local folder. As you can see, Hadoop AMS, but only the owner has access to this directory. So to ignore some errors that could happen when you try to copy from local to HDFS, basically we are going to add read permissions for the user and the group. Now we need to copy the collector data from the local file system to HDFS using this command. This try to copy from local embedded mode to the pad we just create in HDFS. And finally, we need to set the permission for that folder. Now we need to go back to the Ambari UI and configure some properties to enable the distribute mode for the AMS. To configure AMS, we need to update some properties from the Ambari. Now from Ambari, configs in Ambari metrics, we need to change the operation mode. So we can filter here for, by operation. As you can see, it's set by default as embedded. We need to switch to distributed mode. We need to change this property. We need to change some other properties in the configuration. So basically in the configs, we are going to clean this filter and we are going to filter by this property. Each base cluster distribute need to be true. Additionally, we need to set the edge base root directory to use HDFS. As you can see, it's a local folder. We need to switch to HDFS configuring like this. Additionally, we need to set other properties. We are going to clear here. Now we need to go to the custom core site and we need to validate the information for the proxy users. We can filter here by proxy. So it's not available. We can go to Ambari, HDFS configs. Say the change, but not restart anything yet. As you can see, uh, we have an error that show what will be the properties we need to update. So we can proceed anyway, but we need to update those properties before. So we are going to HDFS configs and we need to update all the information for the proxies proxy. As you can see, Ambari Advisor show us the information that's not present in the cluster. We need to add that configuration. To be able to add the proxy configuration, we need to go to the custom core site. Custom core site. And we need to add properties. In this case, we're going to use this information. We are going to add these properties as suggested by Ambari Advisor. Basically, we need these properties to enable impersonation. Impersonation is the ability to allow the service user to securely access data in Hadoop on behalf of another user. When we configure proxy users, any access using a proxy are executed with the impersonate user existing privilege levels rather than those of a super user like HDFS. The behavior is similar when we are using proxy host. Basically, we need to limit the host from which impersonated connections are allowed. 
For this video and testing purposes, we will allow all user and all host. That's the reason we are using stars. One additional thing we need to validate is a configuration for HDFS. We're going to filter by short. As you can see, it's enabled by default HDFS short circuit read. One of the key principles behind Apache Hadoop is the idea that moving computation is cheaper than moving data. With a short circuit local read, since the client and the data are on the same node, there is no need for the data node to be in the data path. Rather, the client itself can simply read the data from the local disk, improving performance. So we need to double check that the, this property is enabled by default. Now we can save all the changes. But before to restart all the affected services, we need to open the log file from, from one of the AMS to see what happened when you try to start the services. So basically we are going to the terminal and we're going to open the log using this command. We need to clean this. Now back to the body and restart all required. While this is happening, we are going back to the terminal and we are seeing the configuration information in the terminal session. It's trying to boot the service using a single matrix collector. By default, the installation installed in only one. But now we are able to configure multiple metrics collector because we are writing to a distributed mode in HDFS. So basically we need to validate that everything is working as expect. We can go to Ambari metrics. You can see we have only a metric collector installed in the node too. Basically we have three monitors, one collector and one Grafana. To be able to install the second collector to establish the cluster and uh, the setup for high availability where you are going to use a master server and a standby node, we need to go to uh, one of the holes in the cluster and we need to pick up one of the nodes and we are going to add a metric collector. We can click here and we can see what's going on. We are now back to the terminal. As you can see, we have a cluster of metric collectors that will be confir confirmed by the node 2. We are now adding additional metric collector so we are going to see in the log file information different to this output. We need just to wait. Now that seems to be working. We need to go to the body UI and see the service install was also full. We're going to embody metrics. We have now two metrics collector. Let's try to start the metric collector and back to the terminal. It's trying to join the cluster. As you can see, now we have a cluster of two metrics collector node 2, node 3, and 
With this, we have a cluster with two AMS in high availability configuration, one active and the other standby. Finally, I hope this video was informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing.